Good morning everybody on this Saturday, August 10th and we are getting ready to get out of this house. So I figured I would show you the last couple of rooms that I never showed you before because people were staying there. So I'm gonna show you the other bedrooms. This was the bedroom we were in with the bath. And here is a room, which I don't know how to use the switches in here. Here's a room, it's got a queen size bed, and closet, window, nice little room. And then over here is the bunk bedroom. You come in, let me turn the camera around. So there's a big closet here, and then you come over here and there is a set of drawers, some cute little stuff on the walls. And then there is two sets of bunk beds, a window and another window over there. So that is the bunk bed rooms. And then here's a full bath. I think I might have shown that to you before. And then over here is the master. So it's right at the top. Well, there's the stairs going up and the stairs going down. You come in here, here's the master. It's a king size bed chest of drawers and a television and then there is a private balcony right here for the master so I don't know if you guys can see that and it looks right over the street so that's the master private balcony which is kind of nice and a window and the king size bed I didn't even look in the closet here so are you guys gonna do an empty house tour? There's the closet. No? Hmm? Don't you guys do empty house tours afterwards? Uh, we already did it. Oh, you did it? Yeah. And then here is the master bathroom. Dual sink. Hi. And look at this shower though. Did you see that shower? It's made with marble tiles. It is really pretty. So that is, I think, so that is the couple of rooms I didn't show you the other day because people were living in them. Now that people are moved out, I could show you the last couple of rooms. So anyway, we are wrapping up for the day. I'm about to take the last couple of things out of this room. Uh, basically, it's my keys, my cell phone, my sunglasses, and my purse and you guys it is currently 10 minutes to late we got up at 5 10 this morning that's a whole other story i'll tell you guys about later anyway that is going to wrap up our time at ocean city new jersey now what we're going to do we're going to go to breakfast we're going to eat some breakfast um i think john's got the car all packed up and we're just gonna jump in the car. We're gonna go to a diner here in town. And then once, we go, once we're done with breakfast, we're gonna start heading home. So um, we're just gonna take our good sweet time, I think. I don't think we're gonna be in too much of a rush, but um, yeah, I think we might stop in Philly on the way back. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna play it by ear. I'm not gonna be in a rush to get home. It, it's gonna take like three to three hours at minimum, but it's probably gonna take longer than that. Hey, there's my darling husband. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Anytime you wanna wrap this up. All right. All right, I guess I better wrap this up. I will see you guys later today. Bye. Well, you guys, we are home. And it's significantly later in the day. Sorry about that, but I have a good excuse. Um, I actually was so tired on the drive back that I had to pull over at a rest stop and have John drive the last like hour last 45 minutes or so I just couldn't keep driving so we came back here we got here right around 12 30 it is right now what time is it 7 20 right now so we got here about 12 30 hey honey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. vlog did you miss buttercup butter thank you mm -hmm. good girl Mwah. <laughs> all right all right anyway um there the dogs are happy we're home aren't you honey you're happy we're home so we got back here about 12 30 
We unloaded the car and everything, got that done. And then about 1.20, I laid down in bed and fell asleep for two hours. I woke up with a wicked headache. I'm still exhausted. Um, but at least I got two hours of sleep. And then Neil got home at four or a little bit after four o'clock. We grabbed some dinner and now we're home. Just got it. I went and got a salad. Boys, hey, uh, Nick ate, Neil and John ate pizza and Nick ate pasta and I had a salad. So I am about ready for bed. I should be filming my unboxings. I have, how many unboxings do I have to do? Four? I have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I have my Boxy Charm. My Keto Box. I think I have an, oh, my Target Boxes. My Target Box. I think there was only one Target Box. Maybe there were two. I think there's only one. So, I have four unboxings to film. Three for Epic Beauty Film, one for Omnizy, but I'm just too tired. Like I said, it's 7.30. I mean, I don't even feel like reading. I read... I read that book yesterday. I, re I finished the entire book before going to bed. Um, it was fiction. The other one is a non-fiction, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a non-fiction, so... I don't know that it will be as smooth sailing, but I do like autobiographies. I don't think it's an autobiography. I think it's more of like a self-help book. What is it called? Let me see what it's called. <clears throat> I have the dusk jacket here. I don't know what I did with I think the books actually fell back behind my pillows. One beautiful dream. This is just the dusk dust jacket. Um, and this is more of like a religious slash um, motivational book that my sister-in-law, well actually my nieces and nephews, I'm, I'm godmother to all of my brother's children. He has six children. I'm, I'm godmother for all of them. And um, for Mother's Day they usually get me something, you know, just something small. And they got me that book this year, so. I'm just, I need to darken the room up a little bit. It's too, too, too bright for me. Um, so I think I'm just going to lay, I'm honestly I'm just going to lay in bed and read and watch YouTube videos. Um, yeah, here's that book. It was behind my pillows. So I'm going to get ready for bed. <sighs> John and the boys are watching a wrestling match or a wrestling pay-per-view. Oh my God. Um. I'm ready to go back to vacation. Someday I need to move near the water. I'm an Aries. But I'm a water baby. I love being near water. I really do. I think if I lived in a beach town, I would work all day. And then I would be on the beach in the evenings and the boardwalk, that sort of thing. But anyway, forgot to buy a lottery ticket on the way home. I should go out and do a lot and do that. Maybe John will do it for me. He's tired too though. Maybe Neil will do it for me, but he's tired too. Anyway. I'm gonna sit to here and watch some YouTube videos. I will see you guys later. Bye. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm actually filming on my phone, which is why the lighting is terrible. I'm facing John's side of the room where the light is turned on. My side of the room, the light is off. It's about 10 after nine and I'm going to bed. So I'm just being lazy, not pulling the phone, my uh, actual camera out and just using my phone. Sorry about that, but I am exhausted. I have a wicked headache and my stomach's not super happy, but I think that's because the one video I was just watching was doing a lot of movement and shots and stuff that were making me not feel real good. So I think that might have something to do with it. Or I could be getting sick. I don't know. I, um... I'm freezing, which I shouldn't be, because it's not real cold. It's not real cold in here, it's not real cold outside. I am just cold. Um, anyway, today I'm thankful we made it home. The only issue we ran into was that while I was driving on the turnpike, 
uh, we got hit with a rock or something and it's it uh, cracked the windshield so that stinks so John's gonna have to go get that fixed Monday morning he already has an appointment scheduled um, 8 a.m. Monday morning so we're gonna get it fixed right quick hopefully it doesn't crack more because right now it's it's within the you know requirements to get it fixed but I really hope it doesn't break because his car had the special like winter weather package so the windshield actually has like embedded heating units for the windshield wipers so hopefully they'll be able to just fix it anyway I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today I hope y'all are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow bye guys